our last morning in Jamaica preparing the decks for departure the women is up we are in summer mode still keeping the tent for the overnight sail and just before we leave one last look at the weather forecast looks good we're leaving Montego Bay today at lunchtime this will be overnight looks like a nice beam reach and then the wind getting up quite strong as we get there but then it swings round to our aft quarter so it should be pleasant enough and then we arrive early morning tomorrow maybe breakfast time this is our passage from Jamaica to the Caymans we started from Montego Bay with the acceleration zone coming around the corner here so we had a really good blast away from the island then the wind died towards the evening red marks the midnight position and somewhere around here we actually ended up motoring for a little bit we headed a little bit east of the track because the wind was going to come in very strong from the east in the morning which it did around here and we reached off towards Cayman Brack chain and anchor are coming up muddy so we have the deck flush to clean it all off leaving Montego Bay and Jamaica on the way to Cayman one of the Caymans will decide on the way. Montego Bay town. As we exit the bay, the wind accelerates around the island. It's very gusty. Anywhere between 15 and 21 we have seen. A parent just in front of the beam. And we start our passage with a sporty 8, 8.5 boat speed. Rift main and Genoa to keep us comfortable till we are out of the gusting zone. Farewell Jamaica. Lovely beam reach going away from Jamaica. It's a bit bouncy. 15, 17 knots just after the beam. Doing what about eight to nine knots. The usual cloudy does every day. afternoon view from the gin and tonic seat not that we've ever had a gin and tonic while sitting on here I don't think still we've got the flag rolled away because there's no point in beating it up when no one can see it beautiful day great day for a sail
Chalet Lake, it disappears into the background. Pretty fast. Yeah, man. Beautiful light, light afternoon. The sun is just giving that lovely light. Another half an hour to be set. Gorgeous. Wind has gone down a bit. Nice day sailing so far. Very nice. Not too bad, was it? I even cooked. Yeah, when I went down to cook, we've done about 40 miles already in five hours. Actually, four hours. We've been trundling along, but it's going to get much slower until we get near to Cuba. Ready for your night shifts? No. Never. 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 Getting the last rays. You come at the sunsets. Cook sunsets. Next okay. ra next race will be at sunrise. It's a lovely light this time of the evening. As Cloudy Bay gently goes through the ocean towards Cayman. 9 p.m. 57 miles completely just over a third of the way after sunset the wind has been dropping constantly gradually down to six knots and we are doing a painfully slow 3.6 sails are flopping they are not happy i am not happy enough of banging the engine will have to come on. An hour and a half later, wind kicks in again. And we happily resume sailing. Base is upon us again. bright moonlight on the water we're very gently sailing doing about seven knots and seven knots of wind on the beam it's a really beautiful evening just before dawn the next morning actually just as one had gone down to bed the seas got really chaotic and we we're being thrown all over the place we seem to have a cross swell one coming from the northeast and one coming from the southeast we had quite a bit of wind, but the mainsail was banging like crazy, so we took the main away and just sailed with Genoa only. And as we approached Cayman Brac, we could see the waves crashing on the northeast coast. The sun is up in the morning, and so is the sea. Remarkably choppy, it's throwing us all over the place. It doesn't probably look much on the camera, but it's short waves of about a metre and a half each. I took the main down because the boom was just banging around like crazy. And we're just running under Genoa. It's about 20 knot winds. It's not nice. Wana is being thrown around all over the place in her bed down below. She ain't gonna be a happy bunny. I just hope we've got some shelter. You can see here, the cliffs of Cayman Brac. Coming up, 140 foot cliffs. We are getting tossed about like a cork. Waves are so close together. Coming into Cayman Brack, the bluffs on the east side, the top of a 6,000 meter underwater mountain. And this rolling is just horrendous. We 
we've been dancing like this for the last two hours. Whoa. It is now 7 a.m. These waves are absolutely horrible. Horrible. Look at that. Our intention was to check in in Cayman Brac. We came around this north coast here where the cliffs are huge and the waves were crashing against it. We wanted to pick up a mooring buoy on the so-called lee shore of Cayman Brac. There are no bays or shelter anywhere down here. We tried Tibbetts Town where the waves were coming over the dock. Even if we could have picked up a mooring buoy, there's no way we could have got the outboard onto the dinghy and then there's no way we could have taken the dinghy ashore. It was completely untenable. We checked all the boys down the island and eventually, having exhausted all possibilities, we called the VHF to the local town and they told us that there's no way to anchor or more and we should just head the 100 miles further to Grand Cayman. Looking at the waves breaking, I'm not sure how we will anchor here. Reminds me of Seiba. It was just as rough. The town dock with waves breaking over it like we've seen earlier on. A mooring boy over there. Should I get ready with the boat hook? I don't think so. And behind those rocks next to the gazebo is the dinghy dock where the waves are also breaking. White water everywhere. Last potential place that we assess for anchorage or mooring buoy, but it's not sheltered in the slightest. Waves are rolling in. There was nowhere to stop safely in Cayman Brag. In Little Cayman, we cannot check in, and we are now on course for Grand Cayman hoping for better shelter there. Having conceded that we would have to go to Grand Cayman, we'd set the sails for a rolly downwind sail. At first we were a little bit in the lee of Cayman Brack, so the waves weren't too bad, but as soon as we got away from Little Cayman we were rolling quite badly. When you go dead downwind it's always difficult to know which tack to start on, and sure enough I got the wrong one, and here we had to jibe back onto the other tack. On a dead downwind course. With pulled out Genoa and full main. Finally done. It was very rolly to set it all up. It's going to be a hundred very painful miles. Back to sailing, flying along downwind, doing seven to ten knots depending on which wave we're going down, passing Little Cayman. Such a shame we can't go in but we can't check in there unfortunately. And we certainly couldn't check in in Cayman Brac, it was too rough. Having said that, we can't see a single yacht mast in their little lagoon there, which apparently we can't even fit into anyway. Full main and Genoa, and it's blowing 18 to 23 knots. And we are bracing ourselves, aren't we? Oh yeah, for dear life. For when we come out of the wave shadow of Cayman Brac and we get hammered again. We're really looking forward to that. Not. Not. Whoa, roly poly.
quite a lot of white water today. This is the best direction to be going in 24 knots of wind. Lovely blue sky. Here's our track in the water. Midday we jibed. We are now on port tack. Starboard tack wasn't quite right for the wind. And we are thundering along. What speed are we doing? 8.5? 8 in 20 knots of wind. This is my scene up here when I'm on my knees, getting the pole guys ready. As we approached Grand Cayman, the wind gradually died to the point where we ended up motoring along the south coast in the dark before we came into the very sheltered mooring buoy and anchorage in Georgetown on the west coast. Some lovely light in the sails with the sun coming through from the other side. Even if they are flopping all over the place. PM. The wind is gradually dropping. We are doing only five knots, speed over ground. Sails are flopping. Enough of banging around. We will soon switch the engine on and make some water. picking up a mooring boy somewhere here. Sadly, we don't see the coastline, only the glow of the town. It would have been nice to arrive in daylight, but, well, we didn't plan this leg, did we? 10.30, we are in Grand Cayman, off of Georgetown. Picked up a mooring boy. There's music coming from ashore, a busy harbor area. And that's pretty much all we can make out. It will all be revealed tomorrow morning. And we are very much ready for bed. This is the view we woke up to. 
and during breakfast we got a call from the port control we are moving on to the town dock for checking formalities a bit daunting reversing into here with this big rock right next to the town dock we've checked in and we've just learned that the borders will close tomorrow we are marooned in the beautiful place of Cayman how bad can that be? Apparently all neighboring islands have closed their borders, so we don't know for how long we will be stuck here. It's a very good move to come here. Very good move. We lacked out by 24 hours. These are going to be our surroundings for the next few days. Lovely to be back in blue water.